Murray Mexted from the International Rugby Academy coming to you for Sell C Scoop. Well, good morning. It's been a huge rugby weekend in New Zealand, absolutely fantastic. But the shock, not the games, not on the field, is off the field. Daniel Carter will be out for the remainder of the World Cup. A freak accident, groin torn, and he's out for 12 weeks. He's already been replaced uh, by, by Cruden, so he can't come back into the squad. He is history. This is big stuff in New Zealand because Daniel Carter, Richie McCaw, I really recognise as two of our greatest players, perhaps ever. And when you take out your strategic number 10 out of your World Cup team, it must weaken the team. Not only is he a fabulous goal kicker, but he seems to feel the match so beautifully, and he's a threat also when he has the ball in hand. So, big loss to New Zealand, certainly changes the odds for the other teams in the competition. It evens up the board, so I think it's anybody's game now. I've often said that uh, a good rugby side is not based around one or two players. If, it, if the team is good enough, it rolls on relentlessly. And I think this All Black team will. I think that they'll account for Argentina without any trouble at all. Um, but whether they go on from there uh, will be another story because, of course, in the semi-final, they'll be playing the winner of Australia versus South Africa. It's up in the air, ladies and gents. Let's wait and see what happens.